So good morning. We're studying lesson five, Time and Eternity. And our memory verse today is, as you go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So Jesus is saying to his, his followers, his, the believers, his disciples, as you go, wherever you go, I want you to preach and tell people that it's time. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. That means it's time right now. So this is a message of time, a time-based message. And Jesus has a time-based message for us today. And the little commentary says, because time is short, we should work with diligence and double energy. You see, time is just a little piece, interception in eternity. Eternity is huge. Eternity, we can't even wrap our brains around that. But time is what we are in right now. And because time is so short, we need to work with diligence and double energy. Some of you might be saying, well, I don't even have energy for single energy. Never mind double energy. But you know what? We need to remember that all of God's biddings are enablings. And so this section is called A Talent for Everyone. You know, we all have different talents. Some are physicians, some are bricklayers, some writers, singers, chefs, painters. There are so many different talents that God gives us. And we know that even though we live in a very fast paced world and, and right now, I can't even believe we're at the end of October, 2022. It's too amazing to even think of how fast this year has gone. But King Solomon, he says, he reminds us that to everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. God has a schedule and he provides the day and the night. He provides the month. He provides the time for planting and for harvesting. And there is time for whatever he needs you to do in his plan. Our time is a gift from God. He created time in eternity and our time belongs to God. It's a gift from Him for us and every moment is His and we are under solemn obligation to improve the time that we have for His glory, to prepare for eternity and to prepare for the judgment that is ahead. So we have a gift, time. We have a purpose, preparation, preparation for eternity. So what else should we consider? with this gift of time as we plan to use the moments that we have. If we go to James chapter 4, this is the brother of our Lord writing, and he says, till we all come to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God, unto the perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine. You see, if we don't grow, we are dying. A child that doesn't grow, parents, yeah, we want to keep them small, but we really want them to grow too, because if they don't, there is something wrong. There might be a disease, a plant, if it doesn't grow, it's dying. And the same thing with us. If we do not grow intellectually, socially, if we do not grow spiritually, if we do not grow in our walk with God, we are not progressing in the use of our time. We are not being responsible in the use of our time as God has given it to us. And so there's a warning in these verses and it's a repetition of Christ's most oft repeated warning where he says, be not deceived. Why? Because there will be many deceivers and liars. They will not come dressed with horns in, in um, you know, like monsters, but these deceivers are religious teachers with the Bible in hand that will destroy even the very elect. If we are not grounded in truth, we will be deceived. So the interesting thing is when we have uh, God's agape love flowing through his believers, the truth can be spoken because when we have sincere interest as Jesus did, Jesus' love flowed to everyone he was around. He could speak some hard truths, but because there was such interest in the healing of the person, in the well-being of the person, in the rescue of the person, Jesus could speak some hard things and the person realized that it was for their own good. 
And if we can grow up in Jesus Christ, we can also be used by Him to speak um, sometimes difficult truths, but they're salvational and for the interest of the person we might be sharing with. So the question is, how do you value your time? How do I value the time that God gives to us? Because time is short, Jesus is coming soon, and we will have to give account. Are we using it to share God's love with those around us is the big question. God bless you today.